dear students of class 11 very good morning to you all hope all of you are keeping fine and doing well dear students uh, in our whatsapp group i had sent you the uh, assignment answers in the word document hope you have received and you have made the necessary corrections in your test book dear students today once again i am here with our total english unit number 3 pages from 47 to 51 and here we will be discussing these three points first one is atmosphere in creative writing that what we have to do while we uh, make a creative writing the second one phrasal verbs the meaning explanation and discussion of these phrasal verbs which is very important then the homework that is assignments given on page number 50 and 51 these are the things we will be discussing today in this class thus uh, please uh, pay attention to our class all right on page number 47 you will find it find atmosphere in creative writing what is an atmosphere the background the situation based on which we develop our story or our writing that is called the atmosphere the general atmosphere see a horror story or a horror narration cannot be done during the day time broad day uh, time why it will not have an effect so a horror story or a horror writing will have better effect when it is created in the dark situation or in the night evening situation dear students this is exactly what we mean by atmosphere in creative writing so let us see what are the things that we need to pay attention while making the creative writing the atmosphere in creative writing means the general feeling that is conveyed to the reader some we are trying to communicate something to the reader the general feeling the word atmosphere is used in the same way as it would be used in everyday speech a person might say for instance the meeting between the workers and the management was conducted in a genial atmosphere friendly atmosphere this means that the person considered that the the general feeling he got from the meeting was one of friendliness genius means see uh, genial means friendliness friendliness situation thus we can talk of the atmosphere of a story as being gloomy sad situation yes uh, then somber terrifying evil cheerful happy sordid pessimistic optimistic and so in any situation we can write our uh, story or narration any situation you should have a proper background that is exactly what we mean in creative writing charles dickens was a master of building up atmosphere he was particularly good at conveying the atmosphere of london with its streets and slums and especially its weather the following extract from dembe and sun is a description of a neglected house abandoned house the atmosphere of dk disuse and desolation hangs over the whole passage let us see read and understand whether we will be getting a perfect atmosphere for this one the passive desolation of disuse was everywhere silently manifest about it within doors curtains dropping heavily lost their old folds and shades mirrors were dim as with the breath of years pattern of carpets faded and became perplexed and faint keys rusted in the locks 
of dolls, Meldo and Mold began to lurk in closets. So, an atmosphere of abandonment or neglectness is that what we find in this small passage of four lines. Same way, we have to be careful uh, about giving the atmosphere of what we are writing. That is very important. Now we move to assignment number one. There are three or three assignments given here. A situation. Using all or some of these words and phrases, write a short paragraph on each of the following, conveying the atmosphere suggested. Now, terror. Of course, for creating a terror, what is the best time? Best time for creating a horror situation or a terror situation is evening for a crowded situation. Yes. Alone, lonely house, no lights, thunder and lightning, howling wind, banging of windows, howl of a dog, sounds on stairs, blood curling streams, scream, uh, then skull tingling, cold sweat, unable to move, pit, uh, pit third of heart, pulse of blood. All these things situation is there, of course perfect for a horror story. Then gaiety. Gaiety, what is gaiety? Happiness. Yes. Children's party, happy faces, smiles, laughter, shrieks of excitement, cherry showers, patter of feet, fun, activity, movement, running about, jumping up and down. That this situation gives you a perfect atmosphere of enjoyment, a happy situation. Then suspense, suspense thriller, we all like that one. Burning building, two children trapped on high windowsill, clouds of smoke, crowds of people, faces looking up, sighs, gasps, voices, flames shooting up, smoke blowing, children cannot be seen, will they be, will they be there when smoke clears, fire brigade, fireman climbs up slowly, can he read, suspense. So this is it. That's what you need to uh, focus here. Dear students, when we write something, that particular background should be given in your writing. That is what you are supposed to do. Yes. Here there is uh, no assignment, but if you wish, you can just write a paragraph on one of these things. Anything that you can take and uh, take a photo and send to me in the group, as some of you do. But some students never care to send assignments. Some uh, are not at all bothered, but some sincere students, they do. I appreciate and congratulate and thank all the students who sent. Dear students, please understand that when you so many people send together, it is very difficult for me to send the answer for one, 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 one like that. Thus, I make the answer correct give the correct answer for all so that all can get by one click. Alright. Now we are on page number 48. There we will find phrasal verbs. Do away with. Do away with your uh, superstitions. Do away means give, discard. Do for, ruin, is done for. Do out of, cheat, the landlords do the illiterate permits out of their rights. Do out of means cheat. Do over, do again. Do over, yes. Then renovate, I am doing my bedroom over. Do up, comb and fasten, she has done her hair up before the party. Then wash and press, that laundry does up clothes well. Arrange. She has to do up the sitting room before the guests arrive. Then do with. Manage with or without something or somebody. I can do with a little money. Do it. Manage. I can do with it. Do without. Manage without. The poor have to do without the luxuries of life. Then last one is drop. Drop in. Visit without prior information. On my uh, way to Bangalore, I dropped in my friend's house. Yes. Drop out. 
he drop out of beginning leave left and drop out also means drop out students yes for forcefully given uh, what is that is suspension or uh, sus suspended from the school or dismissed from the school drop back retreat he drew back when he found that the principal was annoyed draw on depend he drew on his savings to buy a piece of land draw into drive she drew me into a, into an argument draw to attract they were drawn to each other draw make or visit something that needs write some sorry make or write something that needs careful planning she has drawn up the plan for us the next one is fall phrasal verbs which begins with f that is fall back on use in emergency save something now to fall back in old age fall behind make less progress if you do not work well you will fall behind other competitors yes fall behind fall in that is collapse the roof fell in line up and that meaning is also there for fall in line up yes the officer ordered the soldiers to fall in fall in line make line fall off decrease textile business falls off during the rainy season now all the things are see fallen or falls off because of this fallen off because of the corona yes the the sir falls friends fall off in adversity then fall out quarrel he has fallen out with his neighbor fall through that is fail the scheme fell through for lack of funds now next one is g phrasal verb which begins with g that is get ahead succeed you cannot get ahead without proper planning that is proceed that is that meaning also there uh, get ahead of surpass he got ahead of the other candidates pass overtake there was an accident when the driver tried to get ahead of our car get along that is manage how are you getting along in your studies how hope you are getting along very well in your studies be friendly then get around that is circulate bad news gets around very fast get around get at keep criticizing why are you always getting at me getting at get up getting at means that means to criticize get away escape get away means to escape the criminals got away after killing three men get away with do something undesired without punishment many criminals get away with all sorts of crimes get back from return he got back from patna this morning that means return get back to to return to something now he has got back to his studies get up get by manage unpleasantly i hope i will get by this unruly crowd pass i moved my car to allow the truck to get away get down to attend seriously let us get down to business seriously loser yes get off come down she got off the train at patna that is come down make progress get on how are you getting on in your studies already over that is get on yes get along that is also there then be friendly get on he is getting on very well with his friends get out punish we are getting a new book out yes publish that is get out be released from he goes to the market when he gets out of work get over recover from i have got over my difficulties get round then persuade he got me round to his point of view get through succeed in he got through the examination get to reach that is i go to my friend's house very late or then get to start he gets to work at 10 am dear students that were the phrasal verbs that is given here now we are going to the third part of our uh, class that is 
page number 50 and 51 that is the typical assignment or your homework which you, are, you need to complete and uh, send to me then of course after checking I will uh, send you the, uh, the correct answer in common all right now moving to the uh, assignment number fill in the blanks with words given in the box see some words are given there you need to see if 10 yes 10 words are given in the box you need to select the correct one and write she will do dash a car but will not take a loan so you have to work and find it exam uh, then assignment number one second part that is rewrite the following sentences correctly again 12 sentences are given that also you have to write correctly and find the mistakes that you have to write for example he insisted on me to accompany him he insisted on me i think on is not necessary say so like that he insisted me to accompany him those are the corrections that we need to make anyway um, try to do it by yourself and i will get back to you soon thus on assignment number one page number 50 and 51 please do complete hereby i stop the class and we will continue in our next class all right take care thank you